Hello everybody, it's Kenneth from the Archives here with another video delving into the history of the University of Dundee and dipping into some interesting items in our collections. Today I'll be looking at photographs we have of one of the most famous faces of the 20th century, Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, who was also the first Chancellor of the University of Dundee and had a long association with our institution. Born in London in 1900 as Elizabeth Angela Marguerite Bowes Lyon, she was the ninth of ten children of Lord Glams, who in 1904 would succeed his father as Earl of Strathmore and Kinghorn and inherit the great family home, Glams Castle, which of course is not far from Dundee. It was here that she would spend much of her childhood. In 1923, she came to national prominence when she married the second son of King George V, Prince Albert, becoming Duchess of York. And it was while Duchess of York that she was invited to open the Younger Hall at the University of St Andrews in 1929, at the same time receiving an honorary degree from that university, which of course at that time University College Dundee was part of, and there were Dundee staff and students present at that event. In 1936, she became queen when her husband succeeded to the throne as King George VI. Sadly, he died in 1952, leaving her a relatively young widow, but she did not flinch from continuing in public life. Now, as Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, she would continue to have a high profile and be involved in many good causes. And she kept quite a keen interest in what was going on in the Dundee area, including University College, which in 1954 became Queen's College Dundee, the name chosen in her honour and her connection with the area. And in 1961, it was natural that she should be asked to open the centrepiece of Queen's College, which is still in many ways the centrepiece of the University of Dundee, the Tower Building. Uh, and here we see her at that ceremony. But her greatest association was to come. In 1967, the University of Dundee was going to become an independent university in its own right. And it was decided to ask the Queen Mother, given her connections with both the college and the area, to assume the key role of Chancellor. And she very graciously agreed to do this and was an active Chancellor. And of course, this was a huge boon to a new university because it ensured instant publicity and instant coverage. So on the 19th of October 1967 she arrived at the university to be installed as Chancellor and also to attend what was to be the official inauguration ceremony of the new university. She started by visiting the campus, particularly the student accommodation at Belmont Hall. We see her arriving here and we see her meeting some of the students as well. This, the robes she's wearing of course are the robes of the University of Dundee Chancellor. After that, she proceeded to the city churches where a service of dedication was being held to mark the, the inauguration of the new university. And here we see her arriving at the city churches. And then it was a quick trip across to the city square to go to the Caird Hall where the ceremony of inauguration was held and also where she was to be installed as Chancellor. As well as being installed as Chancellor, she was awarded the first degree the University of Dundee ever awarded, an honorary LLD. Once installed, she then proceeded to give out the first honorary degrees after hers. And here we see her capping the former principal of University College, Major General Wimberley. And on the right, we can see her and Principal Drever leaving the Gaird Hall after the ceremony. And her appearance in Dundee went down really well. She was very popular. You can see from some of the photographs there were big crowds and it meant the new university got a lot of press coverage. So it was a really good day. Now, she would stay as Chancellor for 10 years, retiring in 1977. But despite that, and despite her advancing age, she kept a keen interest in the university and did return. And these photographs, where we can see she's popular as ever from the large crowds, were taken in 1982 
when she attended the graduation ceremony as part of the celebrations of the centenary of university education in Dundee. A few years later, she returned to lay the foundation stone and officially unveil it for the new university library. And here we see her and Lord Provost Mitchell and others looking at the design of the new library building. A lovely little model there. Of course, the library has expanded greatly since then. She lived to a great age, uh, eventually dying in 2002 at the age of 101. And the university wanted to commemorate its association with her. It did this in a number of ways, one of which was the new computer building, which we can see on the left being constructed about 2004, and we can see completed on the right, which is the Queen Mother building. And that was opened by her granddaughter, the Princess Royal, in 2006. So there is still very much a Queen Mother presence on the campus. I hope you enjoyed looking at these photographs and this video. Stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you again soon.